friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Levy. I'm a certified vocal coach, studio owner here in Singapore and I help you to get strong with your voice and kick ass. Now today I would love to review Norfi. I stumbled upon an appearance uh, that she made. She was singing a song then her father came up on stage and we do have a lot of children here. We have a lot of teenagers. We do have grown-ups as well but mainly we have children and whenever I see a child sing and just having fun, enjoying himself and exploring his voice that just makes me so so happy and today I want to touch down on some parts about the children's voice and the children's anatomy. If you want to see, if you want to take a look at my six-year-old student from Japan, then please watch till the end of the video. She is performing popular by Wicked and it would make us so happy if you just watch that performance as well. <laughs> Now what we have here is more or less speech quality throughout the whole song. Sometimes you might hear children are getting pretty shaky because they are lacking the support, they are lacking the stability, they are not really aware of breath, then the vocal folds are not really fully developed and so it's so much easier for them to give them songs where they just have to speak, yeah, like popular Wicked or you give them a Disney song that has a comfortable range but that has a lot of words so they are more into storytelling rather than sing long high notes. And now here you can see a really great example of an adult uh, larynx and a child and you see that the tongue of the child is a little bit more larger that's why a little that's why children do have uh, um, that's why children do have difficulties in pronouncing very fast words let's say you give them a song Ariel where there's a lot of words there a lot of words mean different vowels means tongue work and it is hard for children then you also see the larynx is more anterior and superior and uh, the pharynx is just smaller and that means that we just cannot create space to project better at all so um, that's what we got here you know is that children till the age until their voice is developed they are used to sing all in falsetto so it becomes like one note <laughs> it becomes like one register and it's falsetto so they are likely to sing all the time in falsetto of course there are these exceptions that we see on TV and those child stars that are aware of like chest voice and they can belt out but it's so much easier for them to belt out because they basically sing in one register they don't have that break where they the testosterone kicks in for example with boys and then the voice and the sound changes and the larynx drops so the larynx is full developed so this only comes a little bit later and that's why a lot of children just sound high pitched and they sound a little bit squeaky <laughs> let's continue a little bit more cute how she is like with her two hands on the microphone holding on into it and throughout the performance you see that she's getting even more uh, excited she's enjoying it more especially when her father comes up on stage now children are not really aware of their surroundings they cannot reflect as grown-ups are doing grown-ups you know nervous shaking anxieties and stuff like that but for children they are not really getting that kind of thing they don't really recognize that there are a million people watching or whatever they just do what they do they just have fun doing it and they try just to memorize and make it a, and make it as best as possible what are those leader clothes Wow! Wow! Yay! 
like screams, right? <laughs> this is like the first stage of getting into rock metal, no, just joking. But this had just like some screams. And um, there is this misconception that screams, if you do one scream, right, it's not gonna hurt you immediately. If you do a technique that is wrong and you do that technique over a long period of time, that's when it starts to damage your, your voice, your vocal cords. It's not gonna be just because you first time tried out a scream. It might gonna hurt and be uncomfortable, but it will not damage your voice. And there is this misconception if you, I mean, of course we can, there is this exception that you just try to hit a high note and then all of a sudden your voice just blacks out, you know? Um, but even if children are doing that scream, they are much more used to it anyway, right? Now, I think fascinating was that she got so much comfortable when her father came up and this is just, just so magical when a parent is appearing on stage when a parent is supporting your child and we see it every time in the studio the moment that the parents are watching supporting the children they get this glow they are so happy they love what they do and it nurtures them so much this is just really the key it's not only that the vocal teacher is giving them the um the nurturing but also that the parent is acknowledging their progress and that's really really important one last thing I want to mention is to just keep your expectations low because we have a lot of parents here that have high expectations to their children when they are six when they are four and my youngest was three and a half years old you have to keep your expectations low this is an age where children like to discover their voice discover musicality music this is more of an educational music process rather than uh, the voice and singing because they're lacking just to um, stability from your body from other muscles in your body body and because everything is not really fully developed you don't want to work with high intensity or like belting and uh, if you are just using if you work with high intensity like belting you really just can't harm harm that child you know because that production requires a lot of more work and coordination at the same time now let me know if you enjoyed that video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see my student now performing popular she just turned seven so please support your local vocal coach your local students give us a thumbs up a heart and a nice comment would mean the world to us subscribe and don't forget to check us out on instagram at tanyavocalstudio.com okay i see you in my next video thank you so much